Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do three more examples in L'Hopital's case. I really like it and I hope you do it too, as well. So let's start. We got a limit x towards 1 ln of x multiplied times ln of x minus 1. So first of all, where is the problem? Well, if we are approaching 1 with ln, if you remember, this is going to be 0. So we are here. ln x minus 1 is at the same time um, a function. Which, so the normal ln, which is shifted by 1. I'm always teaching my student, you should ask yourself, what should you put for x in order to get 0? This is 1. So um, the idea of 0 in the case of ln of x is getting now to 1 in the case of ln of x minus 1. So basically, this is the same function, just shifted by 1 to the right. And as ln of x minus 1 is approaching, um, x is approaching 1 from the right-hand side, by the way, um, ln x minus 1 is approaching minus infinity. So basically, we have 0 times minus infinity. Who is going to win? or um, we can reverse the question. Uh, the speed at which ln x is going to minus infinity close to zero, is it comparable to the speed um, at which um, ln of x is going to zero next to one? So we will see. In order to apply L'Hopital, which is the case here, we have to rewrite it differently. So in case of ln of x minus 1, we clearly have minus infinity. So I'm just writing this one as ln of x in the denominator. So I'm dividing by 1 over ln x. I would have to multiply times a reciprocal, which is ln x, so everything is fine. Now I can apply L'Hopital because the numerator now is running towards uh, minus infinity and the denominator, well, if we are approaching 1 from the right-hand side, I have to, I actually cannot approach 1. Here I could approach it from both-hand sides, but in the other case it's not possible, so it's, it can only be uh, from the right-hand side, and in this case um, I'm running uh, towards um, ln of x is running towards um, 0 from the right hand side, so it's a very small number, so 1 divided by ln of x is plus infinity. Huge. ln of x minus 1, huge, but negative. So, L'Hopital, now. We have a limit x towards 1 from the right hand side. What's happening in the numerator? It's pretty easy. It's just 1 divided by x minus 1. And that's it. Well, I still cannot put 1 for x because I would be dividing by 0, but let's keep it this way. Well, the denominator is a chained function, so we have um, a composition, and this is basically ln to the power of minus 1 of x. If I'm deriving this, I'm going to get minus ln to the power of minus 2 of x times 1 divided by x squared. This is what we got. Okay, let's write it down. So we have um, minus here, then 1 divided over x squared times ln squared of x. So this is, this is my idea. Let's, let's write it again. So limit x towards 1 from the positive side. What do we have on the left-hand side? Well, we have... In the numerator, we have 1 divided by x minus 1, which is still bad enough for us. And in the denominator, we have a different second fraction. Just, well, I can take minus in front of the limit. And then we would have 1 divided over x squared times ln squared of x. Well, you know, um, I can now rewrite it differently again, since I like it. 
have a limit x towards 1 from the positive side. We have x squared times ln squared of x divided over x minus 1. And let's look at this now. So if I put for x1 with x squared, no troubles, right? With ln, no troubles neither because we just have 0. So the numerator is perfectly fine at 0. The denominator, well, this is where the trouble is happening. Well, is it a trouble actually? You see, if we are getting a bit bigger than 1, the result of the denominator is slightly bigger than 0. So we have 0 divided by 0, well, l'hôpital again. But, okay, we have to apply the product rule. So it's 2x times ln squared of x plus x squared times uh, 2 ln x times 1 divided by x and the denominator is a breezy just 1. Well, all right. So, uh, can we simplify something? Yeah, we can. x squared and x is gone. Um, if I put 1 for x, this is going to be become 0. This is 0 as well. So we get 0 plus 0 divided by 1 which is 0. What does it mean? Let's have a look. That means, what did we have at the beginning? We said this one is running towards um, 0, and this one is running towards minus infinity. So the speed, the steepness of the graph of ln of x close to 1 is way bigger because we are getting faster to 0 as ln of x minus 1 is getting to minus infinity. So the impact of ln of x, uh, which pushes the whole term towards 0, is way bigger, way stronger than uh, the impact of the second term running towards minus infinity. Okay, pretty long exercise now. But I think it was detailed enough for you guys to learn something from this. Let's move on. Let's do a second one. Limit x towards 1. If that is uh, that long again, I think I would do just 2. Oh, is that all right? But we'll see. It's not clear what is written here somehow is the PDF file. Not clear enough for me can increase it. I think with no, no... cannot see it better. So I think it is x. So does it make sense? Mm, well, I have the problem is in the first fraction. I would be dividing by 0 in the second. Oh, okay, it looks like could be something for us. So let's see, x running toward, towards 1. We got x ln of x minus x minus 1 divided over x minus 1 times ln of x. Okay. Can we simplify something? Okay, we can solve the parentheses now. If x is running towards 1, we're going to have 0 here, 0 there, and 0 in the denominator. Well... This is better because it's L'Hopital's case, right? Once again, we cannot simplify that much. Let's produce a derivative. So, x is becoming um, 1. So, we got ln of x plus x times 1 divided by x minus 1 in the numerator. This is 1 and minus 1. This is 0. Great. What about here? 1 times ln of x plus x minus 1 times 1 divided by x. So let's... Can I rewrite it somehow? I don't have to, I think. So ln of x would be 1 now. Uh, ln of 1 would be 0. Mm, ln of 1 would be 0 again. 
and here we would be having zero. So it's still zero, right? So let's rewrite it carefully. Limit x towards one. It's ln of x only, and then ln of x plus, let me put it this way, x minus one divided by x. So if I'm putting one, I'm gonna get zero again. And in order to, you know, get a better derivative now, I'm going to rewrite it again. Sorry for this, but it's more convenient for me. I don't want to make any mistake. It's always embarrassing doing, doing it online. Well, I miscalculated my videos in another playlist. This is uh, not funny. Okay, so we have um, ln of x here. What do we have in the denominator? We have ln of x again. And now let's split this fraction, make it a bit easier for us to handle. 1 minus 1 divided by x. Easier for me. Okay, L'Hopital again. Limit x towards 1. 1 divided by x here. 1 divided by x there. Plus 1 divided by x squared. Funny enough. What's happening? Uh, 1 here. One there, and one here. It's a half. Yoo Great. I think, guys, it's enough for today, for tonight, in my case. Um, see you in the next video. Probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.